In this video, I'd like to talk about adding positive and negative integers. And I'm going to work each of these two ways. One, I'm going to kind of walk through a flow chart. And then also, we will complete them on a number line so you can kind of visually see what's taking place. A lot of times, um, it can get a little confusing when you subtract when you're subtracting a positive or negative number. Uh, and hopefully, this will uh, clear up some questions. Okay, up first, let's work through the flow chart. We have 8 plus a negative 5. Is the problem addition? Yes. Are the, you, do you have same signs? Uh, no. So what we need to do is move down to here to no. It says subtract a smaller number from the larger number and keep the sign of the larger number. So I will go 8 minus 5 because 5 is a smaller number and that is 3 and then I'm going to keep the sign of the larger number so it will be 3. So now let's see the same thing on the number line. So whenever you have um, a negative number, the negative 5, you move to the left. So I'm going to start at positive 8 and remember I am adding a negative 5 so I will move 5 places to the left. Negative you move left, positive you move to the right. So it will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That becomes 3 and that is the you can't see that but it's the same answer 3. Okay, So the answer is 3. Let's work a couple more. Up next we have 5 plus a negative 9. Same rules apply. We have is the problem addition? Yes. Same signs? No. Subtract the smaller number from the larger number keep the sign of the larger number. 9 minus 5 is equal to 4 and 9 is larger than 5 so that will be negative. Okay, I'm going to move down to the number line do the exact same thing. We start at 5 I go 9 places to the left 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 gets me to negative 4. Okay, let's try a couple more. Now we have a negative 6 plus a negative 4. Is it addition? Yes. Same signs? Yes. Add the numbers, keep the signs. 6 plus 4 is 10. They were both negative. Negative 10. Let's move down to the number line. See what's happening there. We start at negative 6. We have a negative number, so we move to the left. 1, 2, 3, 4 gets me at negative 10. Okay, now let's see what we have. Okay, now I'm glad we got to a subtraction number. Is the problem addition? No, so I moved all the way down here. Change the subtraction sign to addition and change the sign of the number right after the subtraction sign to its opposite. So we're going to rewrite this problem. Now we have minus 3 plus we change the sign and now we have negative 6 okay so from now on ignore this this is your new problem in fact I'm gonna rewrite it plus a negative 6 okay what I did was I changed the subtraction to a positive and then took the opposite of uh, the opposite was a positive 6 that now became a negative 6 okay so now all I do is I work, I use the same sign, the same rules as addition. So here we go. Okay. Okay. So we're starting over. Is the problem addition? Yes. Same signs? Yes. Then what we do is we add the numbers and keep the sign. So we go 6 plus 3 is 9, and they are both negative. Okay. So now let's do this problem on the number line. We start at negative 3, and remember a negative number goes to the left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that gives you a negative 9. Again, whenever you have a subtraction, here was it, original problem. Change the subtraction, and the number right after the subtraction becomes its opposite. Okay? And finally, let's work one more problem. Uh, I changed the problem because I didn't like it, but again, we have another subtraction problem. 
So I'm going to rewrite it. Let's go through this. Is the problem addition? No. Change the subtraction sign to addition and change the number after the subtraction sign to the opposite. So I'm going to rewrite it. Minus 5. This now becomes an addition. And I change the negative to a positive. Okay. And now, remember I just act like this is gone. And is the problem addition? Yes. Same signs. No. Subtract the smaller number from the larger. Keep the sign of the larger. 7 minus 5 is equal to 2. And 7 is larger than 5, so it will be a positive 2. Now, let's work this on the number line. I'm starting at negative 5. But now, instead of going to the left, I have a positive number. So I go to the right. 7 places. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And so there we go, positive 2. So I hope either the flow chart or the number line helps you in adding and subtracting positive and negative integers. Thanks for watching, and when we math upload to new math and science video every day, please subscribe and share.